everyone. Welcome to Bio Universe. I am Su Yanka and today we will discuss cell wall. Cell wall is a rigid semi-elastic, semi-transparent supportive and protective covering of cell in plants, fungi, prokaryotes and some protists. The wall is 0.1 to 10 micrometers in thickness. It lies outside the plasmalemma. It is metabolically active. Chemical composition of cell wall are 30 to 60 percent of water, 5 to 15 percent of hemicellulose, 2 to 8 percent pectin substances, 0.5 to 3 percent lipids, 1 to 2 percent proteins, 20 to 40 percent myofibrils and 0 to 25 percent depositions. Structure of cell wall. Cell wall consists of three parts. Microfibrils, matrix, and depositions. Microfibrils, they are the structural elements of cell wall. They provide rigidity to cell wall just as steel bars and mesh do so with reinforced concrete used in ceilings. In plants microfibrils are formed of cellulose, they are 10 to 25 nanometers in thickness and 0.5 to 7 micrometers in length. In fungi microfibrils are made up of chitin. One microfibril is equal to 36 cellulose fiber. Matrix, it is highly cross-linked amorphous gel-like ground substance of cell wall. It consists of water, pectin, hemicellulose, lipids and proteins. Pectin functions in cross-linking different substances. It also determines hydration of cell wall, its elasticity, growth and orientation of microfibrils. Hemicellulose binds microfibrils to matrix of cell wall with the help of different components, for example xyloglucan binds cellulose to microfibrils and arabinogalactans to pectin. Deposition, they are additions of inorganic and organic materials into and on the outside of cell wall. Some of the depositions are silica, it is deposited in outer wall of grass and some pteridophytes like aquasetum. Silica provides stiffness to wall, irritation to grazing animals and protects the plants from fungal attacks. Iron and calcium, they are two common cell wall depositions, especially in aquatic habitats, example chara. Cutin, it occurs in outer epidermal walls of land plants. Along with wax, cutin forms cuticle a distinct layer on the surface of leaves and other soft parts of plants. It reduces rate of transpiration. Its deposition is called cutinization. Wax, it occurs as component of cuticle. It is water repellent and checks transpiration. Suberine, it occurs in cock cells and endodermal cells. It makes cell wall impermeable to water. Lignin, it occurs in secondary wall. Its deposition is called linification. It is fine, water insoluble or hydrophobic strengthening network of cell wall that connects microfibrils with the matrix. It provides hardness to the wall. Components of cell wall. A. Middle lamella. It is thin amorphous intercellular matrix between two adjacent plant cells that functions as a cement between them. It is made up of calcium pectate, pectins and magnesium pectate. It is first structure that is formed from cell plate between the newly formed daughter cells at the time of cytokinesis. B. Primary wall. It is first formed wall of the cell. It is laid inner to middle lamella. Wall is thin with thickness 0.1 to 3 micrometers. It is single layered. Enlargement and thickening of primary wall occur by intersusception or addition of materials inside the wall. Cellulose is lower in amount that is 20% cellulose microfibrils are shorter that is 0.5 to 0.7 micrometers and are loose and wavy. Hemicellulose and protein content is high. Matrix has high hydration, up to 60%. C. Secondary wall, it is later formed wall of cell. It is laid inner to primary wall. Wall is thick with 3 to 10 micrometers thickness. It is made of 3 or more layers. Development and thickening of secondary wall occurs by accretion or laying down of materials over existing structure. Amount of cellulose is higher that is 20 to 40%. Cellulose microfibrils are longer with 4 to 7 micrometers thickness and have closed and parallel arrangement. Hemicellulose and protein content is low. Matrix has low hydration, up to 30 to 40 percent. D. Tertiary wall, it is a special xylem rich wall layer deposited inner to secondary wall in tension wood of some gymnosperms. Cellulose microfibrils are absent. Pits. Pits are unthickened areas or depressions in the secondary walls in plant cells. Pits of the adjacent cells generally occur exactly opposite and forms pit pairs. 
a pit present on the free surface of the cell will be without its corresponding partner. It is called blind pit. A pit is made of two parts, pit chamber and pit membrane. Pit chamber or pit cavity is the depression in the wall representing the area where secondary wall is absent. Opening of pit chamber into the cell is called pit aperture or pit pore. Pit membrane or closing membrane is the flow of the pit which is formed of primary wall and middle lamella between adjacent cells. Pit membrane is permeable due to permeability of primary wall. Minute submicroscopic pores may also occur. Depending upon the shape of the pit chamber, pits are two types, simple and bordered. In simple pits, diameter of pit chamber is uniform and diameter of the pit opening is equal to diameter of pit cavity. In bordered pits, the secondary wall overcurves the pit chamber due to presence of border, diameter of the pit chamber is not uniform and diameter of the pit opening and pit cavity is not equal. Torus is a disc-shaped thickening occurs in pit membrane. It prevents rupturing of pit membrane when unequal pressure is present on its two sides. Mago is the covering of torus. Plasmons meta. They are cytoplasmic or protoplasmic bridges between two adjacent plant cells. The word plasmodes meta is derived from Greek word plasma and desma, plasma meaning form and desma meaning bond. A plasmodesma consists of a fine pore PR canal of 20 to 40 nanometer in diameter in the cell walls and middle lamella of two adjacent cells which is lined by plasma membrane and often contains a fine simple or branched tubule called desmotubule. Desmotubule connects the endoplasmic reticular of two cells. The space between desmotubule and plasmolemma lining the plasmodes meta contains 8 to 10 micro channels which allow movement of only small sized particles. Function PF cell wall. 1. Cell wall provides shape to plant cells. 2. It imparts rigidity to cells. 3. It functions as a barrier to the entry of pathogens into the cells. 4. It provides protection to protoplasm against mechanical injury. 5. It prevents bursting of cells on endosmosis. 6. Plasmodes meta between the adjacent cells produce a protoplasmic continuum called symplast. 7. It functions as a poplast which is permeable to water and minerals dissolved in it. 8. Suberine deposition in plant cell makes root endodermis a biological checkpost. 9. Silica deposition on surface walls of grasses protects plants from fungal attack. 10. Cutin, wax and suberine protects plants from excessive transpiration or loss of water in vapor form.